The press corps traveling with President Biden to the G7 summit in the United Kingdom was grounded on Tuesday night by a swarm of cicadas. An auxiliary power unit on the press plane was disabled by the insects who are visiting the eastern United States by the billions after 17 years underground. Yes, the noisy brood X bugs are irritating to many people, but the cicadas undeniably have become an American fascination over the last few weeks since joining us above ground. NBC's Katie Beck has more in our Sunday Focus. This week, an uninvited guest dropped in on President Biden, directly onto his collar. The high-profile SWAT seen round the world further proof that if you're in the Midwest or Mid-Atlantic states, cicadas are inescapable. Some encounters too close for comfort. Oh, oh my God. Cicada. Turns out the pesky swarm of prehistoric looking bugs that show up every 17 years could be more of a creepy nuisance than harmful. They don't bite or sting, but also don't fly quietly under the radar. There were so many cicadas in the air wow. that the cicadas were picked up on radar. You may hear them before you see them. The chirping concert from male cicadas is a mating call from one of the loudest insects in the world. Registering at between 80 and 100 decibels, the same as a jet taking off or a garbage truck doing collection. They're horrible for me. One flew into this car window in Cincinnati, causing a driver to hit a telephone pole. And a White House press corps plane to Europe grounded after a mass of cicadas flew into the engine. I think the cicadas need a PR team. I think you're hired. Entomologist Samuel Ramsey, who goes by Dr. Sammy, says cicadas are just like us after the pandemic, emerging from their homes after being in isolation. We've been in isolation for what feels like 17 years. They've been in isolation for 17 years. What do you want to do immediately upon leaving? See people. I want to see everybody. Right. These cicadas are doing the same thing. This is cicada spring break right now. Dr. Sammy says there's a reason this spring break doesn't happen every year. If you emerge every year, things can figure that out. If you emerge every two years, things can figure that out. But every 17? See ya. Bye. <laughs> If any creature ever decided it wanted to sync up to that life cycle, it would have to eat only once every 17 years. That's never going to happen. So they've got this perfect system in place where there's no predator in the world that is specialized in coming after them. Wow, which is mm -hmm. why there are trillions of these Trillions of them. And he says the cicadas provide a show to behold. So savor the time. But these cicadas emerge in such huge numbers, and they are not the type of creatures to ever be inconspicuous. They will be noticed. They make their presence known. They make their presence known. Some people, like our own Hallie Jackson, are taking that savoring advice quite literally, testing out a menu offering cicada scampi. It's delicious. It tastes like shrimp a little bit. But for those feeling just bugged by the insects, not to worry. The cicada's visit is wrapping up. By late June into July, the adults will die off. This is a free concert that you are not going to be able to experience again for 17 years. Just listen to the music that nature is providing you with. And Katie joins me now live. Katie, good morning. It's great to see you. First of all, I'm going to text Hallie and make sure she's okay this morning. But those billions of cicadas are loud. Yes, they can be annoying. They're grounding planes. But let's be positive here. Is there a silver lining to the cicada invasion? There absolutely is. While those cicadas are not great additions to our backyard barbecues, they actually provide a huge benefit to the natural environment. And that is by design. When these male and female cicadas mate, the females then lay their eggs in tree branches. Those eggs hatch and baby cicadas fall to the ground to burrow underneath for another 17 years. Those adult male and female cicadas, their job is done. So they die off and their remnants are seen all over the ground. We're probably going to be seeing them here in the next few weeks. They are actually nutrient rich and they get absorbed back into the soil and really help the natural environment. Scientists say it's sort of like a super bloom every 17 years. So for those of us that are ready to see them go, they actually give us something to look forward to once they're gone. Willie? See, there you go. And we will see them again in 2038, I guess it is. Katie, thanks so much. Hey, 
thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.